So question 11 and algebra question. Right, so work out the value of 12 minus 3k to the squared uh, when this is minus 2. So you just substitute in minus 2 wherever you see k. So this is going to be 3 uh, minus 2 to be squared. That's it, basically. Uh, so 12 minus 3. So this now to be squared is 4. Okay, I'm not squaring the 3 here. If it was like this, I would square the 3, but it isn't. So I'm just squaring the last thing. Um, so that is going to be um, 12 minus 12. So my answer is going to be 0. Okay, uh, factorize fully the following. Right, so this is, a, there's four terms here. So this is a grouping style of... Um, factorization problem and uh, so if you look at the first part we could take a p out of both of those couldn't we um so let's see what that leaves us with so if i take p out of um that i'll be left with m plus three right now if this is a reasonable uh, grouping then the other one will have to be m plus three as well so what can i factor into that out of those two to get m plus three well, minus 1 would work, wouldn't it? So minus 1 by minus n would be plus n. And minus 1 by minus 3 would give me plus 3. So that's going to be minus 1. And that's going to be n plus 3 also. So my answer then is going to be p minus 1 and n plus 3. Now they said fully here, so I always get a bit suspicious when I see that. Is there anything else we could do or could have done? No, there isn't. Um, so that's it. That's the answer. That's my answer. Um, okay, so now some inequalities. Graph each of the following inequalities on the line given. Okay, so x is less than 2 where x is in z, which is integers. Okay, so that's whole numbers which can be um, negative, positive and negative. So it's less than two. Um, so this one is open and the rest are filled in. So it can't, it's not less than or equal to. So it can be one, it can be zero, it can be um, minus one, it can be minus two, minus three, minus four, etc. I can keep going in fact. But that's all I can show here. Okay, so that's that one. Um, so for the next one, uh, x is less than or equal to to three less than or equal to three and it's a natural number so natural numbers go from one up okay zero is not included so it's less than or equal to three so this can be a filled in um circle this is is a filled in circle and so is this so it can't be anything else because anything else is not a, a natural number all right uh, last one then, uh, it's a real number, so it can go between minus 2 um, and less than or equal to 4. So less than or equal to 4 is over here. So it can be for a real number, therefore it could be any number in between. It could be like 3.999, it could be you know, anything in between. It could be a fraction, which would give me a decimal number of any sort. And then over here then, it's uh, greater than minus 2, so this is open. Okay, so it can't be minus 2, but it can be any value greater than it. So it's basically the whole line along here like this. And that's the last one, I think. No, there's another one down here. Okay, so that was that inequality one. So this one then is uh, to express this in its simplest form, right? So um, let's do it. So we're going to get a common denominator of these two here, and then we're going to multiply this by this, and this by this, and basically these two by each other, okay? So let's do that. So um, we're going to get uh, these two first of all, we get multiplied by each other. Okay, um, so that's going to give me 25, x squared up here, uh, 25 x squared. Um, the middle part will actually go away. 
because it's a minus and a plus two, so it's going to be minus um, four. So that's those two multiplied out, and then this is three, um, two is a six, all over, um, three five is a 15 X, and three twos is plus six. Okay. Um, so let's tidy this up a bit. So that's x squared um, plus two all over 15x plus six. So can you actually do anything else with this? Well, you can't really. Um, like I could factor this obviously, so, but it was already the case. Okay, so you could write it like that all over three outside of x plus two, sorry, five x plus two, uh, or that, either of those would work, right? There's nothing else we can do with it, so that's it. Uh, and we're done with that question.